All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And now we're ready to go ahead and export our high-res body out so that we can convert all this painting information uh, over to our low-res. If you remember in the last lesson, we've gone ahead and, and converted that to a texture map, as you can see here. Okay. And all I'm going to go ahead and do here is just simply export this body out. Um, I've already gone ahead and done it and exported the body out so that we can just simply um, click over to, to X normal and go ahead and bake our information out. But all you're going to have to do is come up here to tool, export, and you want to make sure that you export on your highest subdivision level. That way it's all going to convert properly. And once you go ahead and do that, you'll see up here in the top left hand corner where it'll merge your UV um, coordinates but it also um, export your UV poly painting information out um, with your OBJ file. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And I'm just going to jump into X normal here. Okay, let me go ahead and clear some of these meshes. Okay, we'll jump up here to the high definition meshes. We're going to right click add meshes. And I've exported the body out as the creature painting body high. So this would be your, your sculpt. Um, information okay we want to make sure that we use the average normals right click again and we'll click the base texture to bake and you can see that I've already exported a BMP file as well as a PSD file but as long as you export your OBJ file you will get the um, uh, whatever your sculpt name is and your painting information is and it'll export this as well so I'm going to use the BMP here to go ahead and convert over to okay the low definition message is this is going to be your animation level or your you know your your my information scene file okay we'll also average the normals for this go into our baking options I'm not going to bake a normal map because there really isn't any normal information on the model to go ahead and bake. We're just simply going to be baking the base texture so that it's going to convert over to um, the UV coordinates that we have. And we'll just come up here and click. And we'll just put this on the desktop and we'll call this the creature body texture. Okay. And if you want, you can always uh, bake out an ambient occlusion map, which... I'll do in a little bit, but for right now, I'm not going to go ahead and do this just so I can show you guys what will happen here whenever I hit generate maps. Because depending on the um, size of your UV map, this bake ambient occlusion can take a long time. So I'm just going to go ahead and convert the, the normal texture here. So we'll go ahead and hit generate maps. And you can see where it's already starting to convert. And this will just probably take about anywhere from you know five to ten minutes depending on how high resolution your actual model is in this case our model isn't necessarily that high in terms of the actual poly count but if you have an extremely high poly counted model it can take a long time and you can see already where we're getting a massively different output from our group UV tiles or our GUV tiles inside of ZBrush. You can see that it's converting over very, um, very well here. And it just takes a little bit of time to go ahead and convert properly. So there's all of our painting information and it's about 75% done here. And I'll just let this go ahead and bake out. And there you can see where our map has, has baked out. And you're going to see here on the left where it's going to um, put that texture map there. Knowing that the map is finished. And let's go ahead and take a look here. And you can see that this is baked out really well. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and bake out an ambient occlusion for you guys. And then I'll come back and I'll show you the ambient occlusion map as well. 
Okay, so now that we're back, you can see that our ambient occlusion map has, has also been baked here. And if we take a larger view at this, you can see where the um, ambient occlusion is pretty high quality. Um, I'm fairly happy with this. And I'm also happy with the, the actual texture map here. Okay, so in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and go through the process of texturing inside of Maya. Um, that means that we're also we're going to be basically applying these textures um, and manipulating them at least a little bit inside of Photoshop. Uh, and we'll also go ahead and texture the eyes. And that'll be our final lesson. So um, come on back and we will go ahead through that process. And then we'll call it pretty much a finished model. So um, yeah, come on back.